Hi, this is a short video on how to upload your class you've previously recorded to YouTube. It's really, really simple. As soon as I have uh, stopped recording, I just open up uh, YouTube. So I'm going to go to Chrome and go to my um, little uh, hash, whatever you call this, and nine box, go down to YouTube. Uh, and then if I'm not on the right YouTube channel, I can go here and, and I can switch channels to whichever YouTube channel I'm actually looking to put it on. But we'll go ahead and stay on this YouTube channel. And I just made one on how to record. So I'm going to upload that video on how to record. So I'm going to click Upload. Now, it's always going to go to the last place that I recorded stuff from, or I uploaded from. So when I click the Upload button, it's going to automatically go where I wanted it to. And it's making a liar out of me, so I have to go to my recorded video folder. And then you can see that it automatically arranged itself by date because I've got it already. You can see the little hash mark up there. I've already got it picked by date. So this is the one I'm going to upload. This is the one I just recorded on how to um, record a video. So I'm going to just rename it how to record a video. Um, Many times, if it's just the time and the date stamp, I don't even rename it. I'm going to leave it public, but if I wanted to, I could make it unlisted. And a lot of teachers prefer to do unlisted because it means you can't search on Google for it. There's no way to find it unless they started from your Moodle site in the first place. Because the next thing we're going to do is post this YouTube um, video on a, a Moodle Classroom site. So. If you've got it as unlisted, they're only going to find it from Moodle. If you've got it as uh, public, it means anybody who does a public search and has those words in there could possibly find yours. Once I'm done setting it, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one as public, and I'm going to hit publish on there. So now this one's all ready to go. Now, if I wanted to go and put this one on um, the website now you saw I hit return to editing and that was so I could click on this link and go to the page that it's going to be at when it's all done. I'm going to pause that so we don't hear it and boy the volume is really loud on that. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this address and it's everything up to the and sign. I'm going to take all that and I'm going to show you how to put this um, into the middle page so that students would be able to then uh, watch it if they needed to in your classroom. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip over here to my hardware class. And if I wanted to add this to my hardware class, all I do is click on my calendar and I hit new event. And I'm always doing it the day I do it. So I just leave the date and everything alone. It's a course event. And I might say today in hardware, I might say what the name of the lesson is. I leave the date because it's today and I just paste that YouTube address in there and then I have to link it so I'm going to highlight it hit the link button and then paste it in there as well and I hit the create link button and I am done so when I hit save changes now this is what's now embedded uh, if I go to uh, September calendar I look down at September 18th it says today in hardware I click on that I come right here so if this was the lesson that I was doing in class my students would immediately be able to review it watch the one section that they maybe missed in class uh, or use it as a test review if they need to as well so that's how you upload it to YouTube and put it on your Moodle calendar